Nintendo Switch eShop sales. You love them, I love them, your grandmother loves them, everyone loves to save some money. And right now there's a deceptively good Nintendo Switch eShop sale happening, well, on the Nintendo Switch's eShop. As always, all of these games are on sale as of the time of the filming of this video on August 28th, so if you miss out on any of these deals, you should have been subscribed with notifications turned on. Make sure you guys stick around for the end of the video where we'll talk about some cheap games under $5 to beef up your Nintendo Switch collection. But without any further ado, let's talk about the Nintendo Switch eShop games that are on sale right now and what games you should definitely be on the lookout for. The first game we're going to talk about is Ultra Street Fighter 2 The Final Challengers, which is on sale for $29.99. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself, well, RGT, this was a launch game for the Nintendo Switch. A lot of people felt it was overpriced to begin with. Why would you even mention this game on this list? And the reason is because if you want to play this game or you plan on playing this game in the future, this is the cheapest way to do it because the physical edition of this game is ridiculously expensive. Used copies, new copies are all going well above the MSRP price from when the game originally released and honestly I really like this game I think it's cool that you could switch between the two art styles there are two new characters with Demon Ken and Evil Ryu I think I got that right that are definitely a bit different than their other versions there's the way of the Hado mode as well which allows you to be a first person Ryu and throw your fireballs and stuff like that it's a really interesting version of Ultra Street Fighter 2 and I think it's obviously the best version of the game that it will ever release for it as well Ultra Street Fighter 2 The Final Challengers, $29.99. It is a bit high, but I did want to give it some shine because this is the cheapest way to play it. Also available for $29.99 is Jurassic World Evolution. Now, I'm a big fan of dinosaurs. I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park, and I absolutely love Jurassic World Evolution on the Nintendo Switch. Basically, you build your own Jurassic World-themed parks. You get dinosaurs. You breed dinosaurs. You have to take care of the dinosaurs. It's kind of like a theme park game, but with dinosaurs, and I absolutely love that gameplay loop. What's cool about Jurassic World Evolution as well is that there's a whole Jurassic Park thing that you can encounter as well that features the voice actors from the original movie reprising their roles all the old school logos all the old school dinosaurs absolutely incredible experience that really made it worth the full price to me right out of the gate because well i'm just a jurassic park fan but you get this whole experience on the nintendo switch for like i said 29.99 right now this is the cheapest that this game has been so definitely worth something checking out Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 is on sale for $19.99, and you know what? I think that's a good price, and I think I'm finally going to buy it on this game. Obviously, it's a heavily inspired by Mario Kart as far as a kart racer is concerned, but it features Nickelodeon characters. There's Ninja Turtles, there's uh, Hey Arnold, there's a bunch of characters from the game, newer characters from newer Nickelodeon shows, older characters from older Nickelodeon shows. It definitely has a good mixture of those two types of characters, and I mean, it's a kart racer. You have cool themes levels that are based on Nickelodeon shows as well so definitely something I've been keeping an eye on and I think it's 1999 it's definitely time for me to bite on this game and see what this game is all about GI Joe Operation Blackout is on sale for $15.99 and I think this is a good price for the game I played the game when it originally came out I believe it was $40 and it felt like you know it was a bit overpriced now the things that are good about this game is the fact that it's sort of based on the original GI Joe cartoon that many of us grew up watching and loved of course G.I. Joe, real American hero. Now the gameplay loop pretty much has you doing like waves of enemies and things like that. There are some boss battles in the game as well. The voice acting is pretty solid, but I think at $15.99, if you're a G.I. Joe fan or even a G.I. Joe casual fan, I think this is a solid game at $15.99 and you'll definitely get your money's worth out of playing it on the Nintendo Switch. Need some more Street Fighter? Well, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition is on sale for $14.99, and I mean, this game should already be on your Nintendo Switch. Look, it came out at like $30. It has a million versions of Street Fighter on it. There's online play. The gameplay itself is excellent. Of course, it varies from game to game, but this is an outstanding collaboration of various Street Fighter games that everyone should own if you enjoy 2D fighting games. Right now, like I said, on sale for $14.99, definitely worth picking up. 
Also on sale for $14.99 is a game that I do not own, but I will be picking up, and that is A Hat in Time. Now, I'm a big fan of 3D platformer games, and the Nintendo Switch could use some more of them, and A Hat in Time came out on the Switch, and nobody really talked about it, but it definitely looked like a solid version of a game that I've had my eye on since it was originally supposed to come out on the Wii U. A Hat in Time is a 3D platformer. I'm not super well-versed in it, but at $14.99, I'm willing to take the risk to check this game out, and I think a lot of you guys might want to check this game out too. I've talked about this game before on the channel, but Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition is on sale for $11.99, and this is the best version of Devil May Cry 3, period. No, no questions asked. There are special Nintendo Switch enhanced features in this game. You can switch your fighting style on the fly, which is a huge addition to the game. The game looks great. It runs great. The story is good. The graphics look great. You don't have any sort of open world that's just completely boring and there's nothing going on with it. Oh, what am I referencing there when it comes to action games? Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition, an absolute banger, a fantastic version of the game, the best version of the game. It's available only on the Nintendo Switch, and right now it's on sale for $11.99. If you're an old school first person shooter fan, Quake is available on the Switch for $9.99 and well technically it's not on sale, that's just the standard price of it, but it feels like it's on sale because I mean it's Quake, it looks great, it plays great, it's an excellent version of the game, there's additional features in it as well, you can do the N64 Quake stuff in it, there's online multiplayer, it just absolutely kicks ass, I just wanted to give it a little bit of shine, Quake $9.99, definitely a banger. If you're a fan of games like NBA Jam, NBA 2K Playgrounds 2 is on sale for $7.49, which I believe is the lowest price it's ever been at. Now you might be saying to yourself, RGT, when this game first came out, you pretty much said it was not worth picking up because of the play to win mechanics, and I definitely stand by that. However, if you're just playing it in single player mode, or you're just playing it in local multiplayer with some friends, I mean, an NBA Jam experience on the Nintendo Switch is few and far between, so with $7.49, you're definitely getting your money's worth out of this game. I just wouldn't go online because you're going to get destroyed by different characters because people pay to win when it comes to the cards that you unlock in the game and get the best characters to use. But if you're just playing it by yourself or you're playing it in local multiplayer, definitely a great game for $7.49. A game that I've had my eye on for a while and now I'm finally buying it is Among the Sleep Enhanced Edition for $6.99. Now I'm not super familiar with this game, I know you play as like a little kid who goes to sleep and then there's like a dream world and then you go throughout the darkness in this, it's a first person perspective so it's kind of interesting because the camera is super low because you're a little kid. It's definitely a horror style game as well, it looks very creepy and it looks like something I would be interested in. So I'm taking the plunge on Among the Sleep Enhanced Edition for $6.99 and you might want to as well. All right, you cheap ass bastards. Now we're getting into the $5 or less games. I've got six games that we're going to go over very quickly. The first game is This is the Zodiac speaking for $4.59. This game came out like a year or so ago. I meant to buy it when it originally came out because I love stories about serial killers, but I never got around to it for whatever reason. But now at coming in at $4.59, it is the time to strike. I am super interested in the Zodiac Killer, one of the most interesting cases of all time. And I think this game looks looks absolutely awesome for that sort of experience. So I'm going to find the Zodiac Killer, maybe you will too, and the game is on sale for $4.59. Barry the Bunny is on sale for $3.99, and the cover art for this game looks absolutely terrible. I've never even heard of this game before, but I clicked on it just out of morbid curiosity, and the game itself looks really good. Yes, it's a 2D platformer. We have a million of them on the Nintendo Switch, but I don't know. Something about the graphics of the game, maybe the fact that when you defeat an enemy, it sort of flies at the screen, I think is really cool. The music sounds really good. It just looks like a really solid 2D platformer that kind of reminds me of, like, I don't know, maybe a little bit of Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins. There's something about Barry the Bunny that I want to explore. And at $3.99, I'm willing to take a risk on it. Ali Ali is available for $2.99 on the Nintendo Switch. I played this game way back on the Wii U when it first came out, and I absolutely loved it. I, of course, have heavy roots in skateboarding, but I think even if you're not like a skateboarder, you could still enjoy this game if you enjoy more action and adventure style, arcade style sort of skateboarding games, because this game definitely delivers. It's very fun. The graphics are very well done. You're trying to, of course, get high scores and things like that. The levels themselves are really cool. There's actually a sequel to this game coming out as well. So if you 
you want to get your feet wet and see what Ali Ali is all about, it's on sale on the Switch right now for $2.99. 80s Overdrive is on sale for $2.99. I remember playing this game on the 3DS and I really enjoyed it. And it's also available on the Nintendo Switch. And this is a really solid game. It plays a little bit like OutRun. It definitely has sort of an OutRun aesthetic to it as well. It's, of course, inspired by those retro racers from that time frame. Good music as well. You know, that synthwave stuff that's very popular right now. So I think this is a solid game. If you like arcade racing games and you sort of miss that genre of games, 80s Overdrive is on sale for two dollars and 99 cents blood breed is on sale for a dollar 99 and i don't even necessarily think this is a good game but it's just so weird and like I, I don't know it's like almost so bad it's good is what it really comes down to you basically are being like chased by this sort of michael myers jason Voorhees style character and when you get chased like the music is really intense like this metal music and it's just so out of place because the rest of the game is so quiet i don't know it looks like shit it kind of doesn't play all that great but if you like games that are like so bad they're good i think blood breed is worth checking out at a dollar 99 i paid like six dollars for it and i got enough fun out of it and laughs out of it and the final game is a game we've talked about a million times before, but we'll talk about it a million times again because it is a great game and it's $1.99 and that is Thief Simulator. You do thief stuff. You break into people's houses. You do hood rat stuff with your friends. And I mean, really, you shouldn't do this stuff in real life, but if you're doing it in a video game, like it's okay. The game looks good. It runs good. You got to avoid the cops when they get called to certain areas. You got to avoid people in the houses. It's really a fun game. It has sort of that sandbox feel to it and it's definitely a game where checking out at a dollar ninety nine all right, so those are the Nintendo Switch eShop games that are on sale right now. Let me know in the comments down below what games you plan on picking up, maybe what some games I missed out on are. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like and share it as well. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you're not missing out on videos like this. I didn't feel like being on camera today, so I just did this all voice acting behind the scenes. Maybe you liked it, maybe you didn't if you like my pretty face. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.